So a couple of weeks ago, I put up a post on the channel to say that I'd received a really cool product that I'd been looking at for a really long time, and I would do an unboxing and a full initial review of this particular product if enough people were interested. Well, guess what? Today's the day, here's the box, and we're going to do a full unboxing of this video, give you my initial impressions to its form and its function, and hopefully a few ideas on how I think it's gonna improve my DaVinci Resolve editing journey, and hopefully yours as well. Now, for those of you, of course, who have read the video title and the description, you probably know what's coming, but please stay tuned, because there's gonna be a lot of interesting insight into this particular product. Equally, I've got more giveaway information at the end of the video as well, so you wanna stay tuned for that. But of course, if you're one of those people who hasn't done that, and you're straight into this video, and you're still asking, what's in the box? Then stick around, and we're gonna find out right now. Just before we get started, by way of a quick introduction, my name is Alex, for those of you who are new around here, I'm a certified DaVinci Resolve trainer, and the channel is all about video production tips, techniques, and tools to make you a faster video editor, and we specifically look at DaVinci Resolve. So if that's of interest to you, hit that subscription button and stay tuned to the channel, because there's more videos coming very soon. Of course, if you're coming back to more videos, hey, Good to see you, thanks very much for coming back. Your support means a lot because it really helps me continue to do work just like this. Right, enough of that said, let's get on to look at the editor keyboard and exactly how cool it is. So of course, first of all, we've got it in a box. We need to unbox it, so let's do that very quickly. There we go, so completely unboxed now. You can see lovely Blackmagic branding as we'd expect. I'll just give it a quick spin on the second camera and you can see all of the cool features there that it says it can do for us on the back. And as you can see, Blackmagic do boxes really, really well. I love the way that their boxes and branding and all their products come together. So really nice and it's all put together for us perfectly. What you can also see is that it comes with a free copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio. I think it's really cool how the speed editor and the editor keyboard are so integral to DaVinci Resolve that as far as Blackmagic Design are concerned, as soon as you buy a keyboard, you need to have the studio license to really get the best out of it. And that's not to say you need it to get the best out of this particular product, but they just feel that you know if you're making that serious investment, you're worth having that studio license. So it's really good of them to have that included. And I think it really means that the whole value of this product is even better because I can understand a lot of people looking at the price of the editor keyboard, which I'll put up on the screen, is, you know, perhaps a little bit high for a keyboard, but this really is a premium keyboard. And with DaVinci Resolve Studio included, it does make it all that little bit more of a good investment because not only you're getting the keyboard, but you're getting that incredible software as well included. So let's unbox this thing and see what's inside. So I may need some help here. Just to unbox that there. Do stick with me because it is a little bit of a different video to the ones that we normally have up on the channel. So what we've got inside. There's a nice piece of foam, which will take that out. There we go, look at that. And it really is a quite sizable keyboard, as you can see. There we go, it really looks quite impressive. And first impression is that that's a very weighty keyboard. That's a beautiful console uh, that will sit really comfortably on your desk and not sort of slide around like some of the light keyboards you possibly can find. There we go, it makes a suitable noise as I drop it on the desk there. Inside as well, what have we got? We've got a few little Blackmagic little welcome stickers and things like that, so all very nice stuff, Blackmagic stickers, and of course the DaVinci Resolve Studio license as well for those people who are interested in that sort of stuff. Very good. And of course, the only other final thing we have in the box here is the USB-C cable. The USB-C cable, of course, is the only way to connect the editor keyboard. It doesn't have Bluetooth connectivity, unfortunately. <laughs> Computer says no. <laughs> but of course, just a simple USB-C connection, so that's not gonna be too much of a problem, just the one single cable. Otherwise, the box is all done with now, so we can completely get rid of that. And let's focus on my first impressions on this beauty. So again, I'm gonna hold it this way so the camera can see it a little bit better. One of the things I like about this keyboard is they've obviously considered the long-term editor in mind. They've got a nice little wrist support built in at the bottom. The design is a premium metal, so it's actually an all-metal keyboard, and the controls, as I said before, have actually been tiered really nicely and they are graded to an eGamers spec. So basically they're actually a million activations each key. So there really is built for really hard wearing use. So again, the pro editor will be able to get an awful lot from this particular keyboard. And it's cool because it has a really nice function here whereby actually it's been designed with the idea that it might be set into a console top as well. And again, work really nicely in a console. So if you've got a permanent situation, you can very easily make this part of your permanent editing setup. One of the other things I'd just like to mention is that on the bottom of the keyboard itself, you have these two little flaps which kick out, like so, 
there we go. And once you put those back down, it gives you a slightly raised experience so you can actually have your hands tilted at a slightly different angle, which actually is really comfortable. So I'm gonna try playing with that and see how I like that. If you want to, you can just flick them back and go to a slightly flatter editing experience. Now, the cool thing about this is that we've got all of our normal controls that we might expect. So we've got the full QWERTY keyboard, which I really like because for me, this is gonna be my main keyboard now that lives with my workstation. I'll be able to use it for you know emails and admin, all that sort of stuff as well if I want to. But when it comes to time for DaVinci Resolve and video editing, I can simply keep working with this particular keyboard in mind and start making use of all the extra functions that are here on this keyboard. So not only have I got all of that, I've also got all of the caps have got this specific buttons on there and the sh keyboard shortcuts so that we can work very quickly and not have to remember, remember all of the different keys that we need to at the same time. We've also got some keys which will be very familiar to us from using the speed editor. So we've got these controls here on the left hand side. So we've got the edit functions, we've got the trimming controls, we've got the transitions down at the bottom here. Over on the right hand side, we've got the transport controls and we also have the search dial. Now the search dial has been upgraded in the editor keyboard. The editor keyboard has a all metal search dial and it's got an integral clutch as well or internal clutch as well so that when you're using particularly the shuttle controls you've got some hard stops on it to make it really easy to understand how you know much you've turned that search dial. And that's one of the really cool things about this keyboard is it really is designed for the edit page. The speed editor of course has been designed primarily for the cut page and for fast editing and working with laptops and iPads and things like that but this edit keyboard is really designed for the edit page. So really looking forward to getting into that and seeing how it works. Let's just have a quick little look at the back of the device as well. So quite simple, we've got a couple of little ports at the back there. We've got a USB-C and we've got two USB-A ports as well. So that if you need to, you can connect things like dongles for mice and etc. So again, other peripherals can all be connected in there. And of course the USB-C connection is there to connect the keyboard and control it. You can set the keyboard up using the DaVinci Resolve panels software, which is actually shipped as part of the DaVinci Resolve download. And once that's put in there, you can easily make sure your keyboard is set up and working correctly. So with all that said, I think we really do have a very interesting product here. I think not only do you get the free version of DaVinci Resolve Studio, but you've got a very premium keyboard with fantastic tiered buttons that are going to be very much an ergonomic uh, benefit to you, but also with that wrist support as well, you've got fantastic comfort when you're using this for a long period of time. And I think it's one of those keyboards that because you pay a premium for it, you know that you're getting a product that's going to last and be up to the test as well of that rigorous workflow if you're a pro editor. I'm really looking forward to getting used to seeing how this works in reality, and I'm gonna be putting it to its test very soon. And I like the idea that we've got that direct time code entry. I think that's really important, something I do quite a lot. And if I can avoid having to use my mouse to go up to click on the time code box to enter time code, this is gonna be something that's gonna be real time saving for me. Equally, I want to see how well this new search dial works as well, now that we have that as a full metallic design with the internal clutch as well. I think that's gonna be great. We've got some fantastic new function buttons at the top. One in particular I'm really interested, which is the F2 key here, which says, insert black. I think that again is going to be a really interesting little function. I've played with it a little bit at some of the trainer conferences I've been on and some of the seminars and exhibitions I've been at but I think it's going to be a really interesting test. So stay tuned to the channel because there will be a full review coming where I compare this to editing with a normal keyboard and mouse also versus the speed editor as well and as much as I love my speed editor this might be the keyboard that actually replaces it as my main keyboard for my DaVinci Resolve editing and I'm looking forward to telling you all about it very soon. So stay tuned to the channel and there'll be a video on that very shortly. <gasps> But otherwise, thanks so much for watching this quick unboxing video of the Editor Keyboard. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, again, let me know your thoughts and comments on the Editor Keyboard. Do you have one already? Have you been using it for a little while? If you're not, are you thinking about getting it? Pop it all down in the comments below. Let's get a chat started there. It'd be really interesting to hear your thoughts. And certainly I'll be able to share some of my thoughts as well. Now I have my hands on this little beauty. Just before you're going, make sure you hit that like button, guys. Let me know that this was a good video. Let other people know that it's worth watching. It really helps support the channel. It means a lot to me as well. And equally in the description, guys, there are lots of other ways if you'd like to help support the channel and help the free content about DaVinci Resolve and video production keep coming, then it really does help. So get down in that description below and just click on a couple of links if they take your fancy. Cool. Other than that, guys, I'll see you very soon. Leaving you to your editing journeys. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.